Hey guys, hey YouTube. So I'm gonna try and make this nose cleaning tutorial as fast as possible. Sorry about my voice because um I know it sounds like a dying cat, but um I lost my voice and warning and just uh telling you future people, um wear jackets outside because otherwise you get bronchitis. I got bronchitis, got rid of it, and I think it's coming back. Just letting you guys know. So anyways, let's get to the to Tutorial. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, let me just turn off this music, even though it's Britney Spears. Everyone loves Britney Spears, right? Anyways, so here we go. Okay. A lot of people don't know how to clean their nose. As surprising as it sounds, I didn't know how to clean my nose. I had to go back to the piercer, and she had to teach me how. But, um, there's different ways of cleaning your nose. The first part of it, though, is that don't use any peroxide or alcohol or anything like that because it can affect the way the color is in your piercing. So you might walk around with, uh, you know, a rusty colored piercing, and that that's not pretty. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Um, excuse the coughing. <coughs> I'm okay. Um, yeah, so anyways, don't use that kind of stuff. Use this. It's called H2O Ocean, and it comes in a bottle just like this, and, um, there's pretty details on the background, I mean, in the back, but, um, it's just salt and water, guys. If you want, you know, if you want to save some money, look up the tutorial, it's really, really easy. All you have to do is mix salt and water. I don't know the measurements, but that's the only, you know, you don't want to put too much salt or too much water, you know, um, because it might dry your nose out with salt and water might... If you have too much water, it might not affect it as much as you need it to. Um, so yeah, that's the whole thing. But that's why I'm lazy and I got this. If you're lazy, you can get this if you want because uh, this really helps. It gives, you know, a perfect measurement. Or if you just don't know, you don't want to try because you don't want to, like, take the risk. But it seems pretty easy anyways. So yeah, it is H2O Ocean and it's specifically made for piercings. Um, but I've heard from a lot of people that this is... I've never... Well, one other uh, person that's my friend said they made homemade cleansing, but other than that, all my friends used H2O Ocean, okay? So, you can get this at any kind of, you know, um, piercing store. Like, I just got mine where I got my nose pierced. Some stores, or some parlors, I'm sorry, don't have it, you know, so uh, just be careful. Um, look, look you know, online. It's probably there somewhere. You can just order it. They might have a website. I'm not really sure. But, um, anyways, so, you're, you just got your nose pierced, or you're about to get your nose pierced. You want to know how to get your nose clean. First of all, do not let anyone, and I repeat, do not let anyone take a gun and stab it through your nose. Like, one of those, not like, real gun. Like, not like, the, you know, but like a piercing gun, like the one they use for your ears. Don't let that happen, guys. I know it sounds like, oh my gosh, it's so much faster and less painful. Don't let it happen, though, because it can shatter your cartilage. And shattering your cartilage can do so many things to you. Um, you know, it can help. It can increase the infection. Um, it can just plain old make your nose look like crappy or, you know, on one side because... When your bone inside is shattered, it can, like, deform your face or anything. <coughs> <coughs> Anyways, so, you take the cap off. And you just, um, take a Q-tip. doesn't matter if it's, a uh, blue Q-tip or any other color or just, like, one of the one, you know, the pack you get from the dollar store. Um like the more paperish ones. This one's made out of plastic, so I'm going to cut it. But if it's one of the ones that are easy to tear, just twist it until it snaps. Um, so now you have two Q-tips, and then all you got to do is take your H2O Ocean, careful because this sprays really quickly and you don't want it to waste, because you need to have six to eight weeks to let your nose heal. And guys, I, guys and girls, obviously, <coughs> don't, um... Don't let this piercing, I meant don't let this spray go to waste because 
this really, really, really is important because your nose can get infected very, very easily. Mine got infected in the first couple of days until I learned how to clean my nose properly. So, please wait six to eight weeks, guys, because as fun as it sounds, you know, I already bought my piercings. I'm so psyched. I have only had it for two weeks, my nose piercing, and I'm so psyched to just switch them out and just be like, yeah, but <coughs> you want to be as safe as possible because anything can happen, and it happens to a lot of people even though you don't realize it, that they, it can still get infected once you take it out. It can close within three hours. It's just terrible. <coughs> so, <clears throat> I'm going to just spray a little bit, just squeeze a little bit until you see it come out. So see, watch. Just enough. It's kind of hard to see, but if you could see the Q-tip get kind of more transparent and darker because the water's going through it. And then do on this one, and that one kind of squirted out a little more. Um, make sure you get a good amount because you don't want to just be rubbing nothing on your nose. Um, anyway, so you just take the Q-tip, feel your piercing, push it up, not like this, because that's just unattractive, in and out, you know, you don't want to, you know, anyways, um, just feel your piercing until you see it kind of rise up a little bit, just a little bit, and guys, I promise this isn't painful, unless it's infected, it's not, if it's infected, it's not that painful, but it's just like, it really generally feels like nothing if your nose is fine, so just take the Q-tip, I like to do this kind of twisty motion right here, in here because it kind of pushes you know more of the uh, cleansing into the nose and don't be afraid to like actually touch the piercing because guys I thought that if I did that my nose piercing would tear and bleed and <coughs> it doesn't do that trust me unless you like really like you know um so don't be afraid to touch it you know if it bleeds the first couple of times it's natural guys but don't go too rough so just you know I'll shut up this is a train coming by anyway, so try to do this for two to three minutes. Um, and just go in a circular motion and not out here, but really get close so you can actually get some of that, you know, actual liquid into your piercing. You know, don't be afraid to touch it a little bit, get it on the piercing, and you know, use this one and kind of feel around and get some of that in there, and then you're done. Take the Q-tips, I'm going to toss them out. Put the cap back on, and guess what? You're done. It was that easy. Um, do this two to three times a day, because when you first get your nose pierced, like, from, for example, I just got mine two weeks ago, and I'm still doing this. Um, <coughs> it can get infected very easily, guys. So please clean your nose. Um... <coughs> Um, so please clean your nose, and anyways, you know, this is H2O Ocean, um, try and find this product, because, you know, just like, it's, you know, it's factory made, so it's obviously has the right portions, if you want, though, if you want to save some money, then, you know, do what I said, make some, look up a tutorial, and I'm sure there's, like, tons of tutorials on how to make it, because a lot of people do it, and it's a great idea, so yeah, thanks for <coughs> watching this video, guys, sorry about my voice, um, if you guys have any other questions, just let me know. Um, yeah, so have a great day. Bye, guys.